an every day is inspection day? Uh, yes, we have to work. We've got uh, standards. I've got my standards, what I expect my staff to carry out, and I think it's important that um, the home is run how it should be, and you can't lower your standards. You have to make sure that you're giving good quality care to the residents um, of the home. Um, if you don't, you end up where people don't want to come into your home. So again, you've got a good reputation. The White Proctor's got a good re uh, reputation within the community with social services. Uh, we have a very, very good um, reputation with the medical uh, side of things, uh, the health side, uh, with doctors, uh, the, the district nursing, um, Macmillan nurses, uh, speech and language therapists, um, even uh, fall, falls prevention, um, all, everyone that's actually dealing with a multidisciplinary team, so uh, different kinds of conditions that residents have, so we've really got an excellent service we provide within for the health side of the residents. So what you're saying there, you, you don't sit here on the old A13 in isolation, you have a a lot of organisations that you, you inter, in, relate inter to. Yes, we do. Yes, I've got a very good team. I've got a very settled uh, staffing team that have been here majority quite a long while. So they've worked with me. Um, they have high standards themselves. Um, they support me in the everyday running of the home. Um, they've got uh, roles and responsibilities to ensure that the, the home is run correctly. And in my absence, I've got, I'm confident that I have no problems, that they're able to manage that very well. Is it like spinning plates? Because we sat down in, in the in downstairs and there were um, service users having, having coffee, but there's also a well, resident, sorry, I'm mm. bureaucratic there, residents having coffee, uh, rel relatives coming in, prospective relatives coming in, mm -hmm. phone going, there's a, and that's just in a 10 minute period. It is, yeah, it's a very, very busy home, and yes, you know, you've, you might have your idea of your work, what you want to set out for yourself, your goals you want to achieve for the day, it doesn't always go that way because... So it is really a teamwork, everyone is involved, from the person's coming into the home to the person's inspecting the home and giving the feedback of what's going on. From time to time I'll give Denise some action points and these are just prompts of what needs putting in place, what might have come out of date or what needs updoing, updating, training records and so forth. Training is also a very, very important part of the making sure that we're up to scratch. I agree that we are looking at every day as an inspection day so that we are ready, we're showing people that we're ready. But by having a um, self a manager's self-audit tool as well. Managers are very responsible for their own um, roles and responsibilities and every month they will carry out a self-audit tool. Also the CQC have took a stance with this. The self-evaluations are being done now where a lot of the information and a lot of the evidence that the CQC are asking for is actually led by the managers putting that information forward. Every manager's registered, they wouldn't be wanting to tell an untruth to the CQC. They're legally registered, they would be struck off. So you're, you're dealing with people that are, you know, are really powerful, very responsible people in their own right. They're running the business, they're running the care home. And um, we give as much as we, as support as we can with that. But the responsibility really is making sure that we meet every single compliance and they are set out for the staff to be aware of as well as the managers to be aware of. So that's part of the training, that's part of the auditing, and it's part of the monitoring and observations, but most importantly, giving the feedback on every visit and every audit that we carry out.